hello friends. Today we are gonna talk about the hashtag ODBJ. That stands for Our Different Budgeting Journeys. This was started by Budgeting April. Today we're gonna to talk about our why. We have 26 different budgeters doing this, YouTube budgeters, and I think 13 of us are posting videos today. 13 will be posting tomorrow. The first 13, which I'm in, is right here. Not sure which side of my phone I'm supposed to look at, so bear with me. The second 13, page two. We'll be posting tomorrow. Budgeting April has started this. Here's Budgeting April. This lady is amazing, you guys. She started the hashtag BCL, Budgeting Community Link, which led to so many of us getting help from each other and learning about each other. Uh, she is great at supporting supporting our the other budgeters in our community and also helping us budgeters support each other today we're going to talk about our why so let me get this up here budgeting april wanted us to tell you about our why two reasons and please introduce herself okay if you don't know me i am kimberly meddings i'm a wife a mother a grandmother I had been married to my soulmate, my husband, Howard Metting, since I was 17. We got married in 1984. So we have been married 35 years, 35 years. Ooh, don't tell him, don't tell him I'm thinking about this. Um, let me check that out. Hold on. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? Uh, 1984, 38 years. <laughs> We've been married 38 years. Oh my God. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I should have known that because I was looking in to post or booking a Hawaiian cruise in two years for our 40th wedding anniversary. Okay, you could see me in this leather chair. This is where I generally sit. My table is right under this. This is on my stand. Uh, this is where I sit to do my budget videos for you guys. My why was growing up. I never had anyone to teach me about finances. My parents, uh, I don't remember them ever talking about it. We lived, it was either feast or famine. My daddy worked construction. My mother usually didn't work. She did have a job from time to time. But my daddy really liked to gamble. Uh, he was better at gambling than working all the time. He liked to gamble and do things like that. So it was either feast or famine at my house. They did always get keep the lights on, keep food on the table, um, things like that. I was brought up, you know, usually getting anything I wanted, but there were lean times in between. But the story behind that is I didn't learn anything. I didn't learn how to budget, how to pay bills. Uh, what little bit I did learn, I learned in high school. We had used to have classes like that that would teach you things like that. Well, fast forward to me and my husband uh, having our first daughter. We'd been married three years and life was crazy. We were both working two and three jobs, trying to build a house. Every dime we got was going toward the house. I still never learned to budget. Uh, you know how crazy life gets when you're raising children. My daughters, I had two daughters, two years apart. They were into all kinds of things. They tried it all. They were cheerleading. They were basketball and they were twirling. They were dancing. They were cheering. You name it, they were into it. We were running back and forth to it. Still never learned to budget. Well, fast forward to probably about, just guessing, I'm thinking maybe four or five years ago is when I really, really started to talk, think about it. We got into couponing, may have been six years ago. Me and my friend, best friend slash sister Vicky, we got into couponing. We become like extreme couponers. And we started budgeting and trying to pay off bills. I started looking at Dave Ramsey 
and the um, his methods. And my first envelope system, I don't have one, but it was just the little file thing where, you know, you open it up, the accordion file, and I just labeled it, and that's what I used. Uh, that worked really well when I could keep my husband out of it. He's not by any means a budgeter. He thinks if it's in the checking account, it's okay to spend it. Uh, it doesn't matter if you got taxes coming out in seven or eight months. Don't worry about them till they get here. You know what I'm saying? So now, since he's retired, he's starting to get more on board with things. But then he was not at all. He just, uh, so that lasted maybe almost a year and I was doing great at it. But then I just kind of got a little disgusted with the process because it seemed like I was the only one wanting to save. So I let it fall by the wayside and for years we just lived paycheck to paycheck. My daughters grew up, uh, they got married and that brings us to my second why. The first why is not living paycheck to paycheck. I hate it. I hate the aggravation, I hate the stress, I hate the worry. I hate the checking account, checking the checking account to make sure I'm not getting overdrafted. Uh, I hate the anxiety of looking and it getting really low and knowing there's some bills coming out. It drives me crazy. I hate it. Here's my second why. You all have seen these pictures before if you've been with me for a while. Top row, left to right, is Storm, Troy, Spencer, and Austin. Bottom row, left to right, is Scarlett, Melody, Mark, and Matthew. The sign in the middle reads, all because two people fell in love. I'm referring to me and my husband. Had it not been for us, these grandbabies would have not been here. So, turning the camera back around, I wanted a better life for my daughters and for my grandbabies. I have tried and tried and tried to get my daughters on board with budgeting. That leads to one of the reasons for my YouTube channel. I'm hoping, even though I haven't gotten them on board right now, eventually they will want to get on board and they can come back and watch these, even if I'm not here. I, I think the YouTube channel and the videos will be there for them to see. I hope so anyway, because that's one of the main reasons that I started the channel. So, sorry, I was, I was checking my video to make sure it was, it was recording right. I've had a couple of episodes where I've got it on slow mode or slow mode or whatever that is. But back to uh, the, the why, um, I'm hoping that they will go back and watch this when they do become, that they were do, my oldest daughter does amazing. Her husband has a great job. She's a teacher and she really needs to budget. She really needs to get on the envelope system. I keep encouraging her. My youngest daughter, which when I say youngest, she's 32. She's still working out some issues in her life. Uh, I know she's nowhere close to, to getting on board and budgeting, but my oldest daughter, I think, is coming around. So, I'm hoping she will start doing this. Um, <laughs> I keep looking at my messy hair, and uh, with my why comes my extra work. Uh, if you watched my video um, earlier today, I think I posted, or not today, but yesterday, um, I'm pre-recording a little bit of this, but if you watched my video yesterday, you would see that I talked about extra bus runs. Well, a couple came up yesterday evening and I was able to do an extra run, which I got four hours for, plus cover someone else's run, which I'll get four hours for. So yesterday I was able to accumulate an extra eight hours of work and that's, uh, that's pretty good. So that'll show up on my check in two or three weeks. So if I can get to do that a couple, you know, at least once a week or something, that, that'll be great. That'll be a lot of money helping toward my savings challenges and sinking funds and those things. 
But that pretty well encompasses my why, is uh, hoping my daughters do better and these grandbabies. If you watch my videos, you'll see that I do say for the grandbabies, I uh, cash stuff, um, three things for them mostly, and that is a graduation present, a 18th birthday present, and an investment fund. There's another thing. I never, ever, ever knew how to invest. And I found Mommy Trader on here. Her name, <coughs> excuse me, her name is Shalise. And if you haven't watched Shalise, she's amazing. And she truly, I believe she truly wants to help all of us do better in our lives and uh, build wealth and generational wealth. She is um, very forthcoming with what she does and how she does it. And she has helped me tremendously and gave me the courage that even though I only have a little bit of money, it could make a difference. So my goal is to invest enough by the time I retire to be able to draw at least $100 a month in dividends. Now that doesn't sound like a lot to some of you, but I'm thinking $100 covers pretty good. and. I'm getting started really late in life with this, so if I can get more, great. If I can't, man, $100 will come in handy a lot of months. Um, so the investments, the cash envelopes, the sinking funds, they have really, really helped me with the first why, which is all the stress and anxiety that comes from living paycheck to paycheck. You guys, I, I have issues with anxiety and depression, and those things just stress me out so badly. And now, I think I started, but I started budgeting this year. I don't think it was January 1st, but I can look back probably and see, but it was shortly thereafter. I started my YouTube channel, I think in February. So, since then, I have already done so much better that I have my cash envelopes one month ahead. And I'm pretty sure I will have my bill money one month ahead by the end of this month. I am struggling really hard to find the money, make some extra money, maybe sell some things if I need to, to get my bill money one month ahead so I can take that anxiety and that worry off my shoulders so I can live a happier life. Um, if you are new to my channel, you, you, you don't know that one of my great passions, other than my family and my husband, is travel. I absolutely adore and love to travel. So, I have a third why. And getting all my finances in order, my retirement plan set up, is ultimately so that I can comfortably be able to do what I love so much before I get too old to do it. I am right now, some budgeters, uh, they want to pay off all their debt before they do anything fun. Well, I'm not one of those. I do want to pay off my debt, but along the way, I want to enjoy my life because we never know when our life's going to end. So I try every year to do something. I'm trying to do one cruise a year. And in between that, um, I like to do some little weekend getaways or two or three night trips. Sometimes with girlfriends, sometimes with my husband. Now, speaking of my husband, we have started a campground. We own a campground. And that keeps him hugely, hugely busy. Uh, so, prying him away from those responsibilities, even though he is retired, he was lucky and got to retire at 57, right before he turned 58. He just turned 59, so he opened the campground right when he retired, just about it. It's been open July, May, a year, and we are still putting every dime that the campground brings in back into the campground to upgrade uh, make new facilities, things like that. Well, we don't have to have the income from it for living. We're still making it just fine. Not fine, we're not rich, uh, but we are still making it by budgeting and uh, 
staying on track with all our purchases and things like that. So right now we're able to take all the money that comes into the campground and put it back into the campground so that hopefully in a few years we can hire someone to manage the campground and take care of it when, when I retire and we can travel more. So I think that encompasses uh, my three main whys. Uh, just to reiterate, it is not living paycheck to check paycheck. My family, which is my daughters and my grandchildren, and my passion for travel and my husband being with my husband doing things with him. Those are my three main reasons of my why. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed making it. And I think our next, next week, we will be working on our how, and that's how we budget. I do go over all that in my videos. Uh, so I'll have to come up with something really good that maybe I haven't went over before to show you guys. And another, uh, another thing I'm working on is this is going to be my little side hustle when I retire to make a little extra income along with those investments. So it doesn't cost you a dime to uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm still trying to get monetized and reach 1,000 subscribers. I am at, let's look real quick. Well, if I hit the right thing, we will look. Today, I am at, well, again, I'm pre-recording because April wants these up by noon tomorrow, and my internet is slow, so I'm pre-recording the day before. So, this is actually Monday, but you'll be seeing this on Tuesday. So, today, I'm at 568. I need 1,000. I'm almost there on my watch hairs. I do great on my watch hairs thanks to you guys that have subscribed, or those of you that haven't subscribed and enjoy watching me. My watch hours are almost there, but my subscriber count is not. So, please help a girl out and subscribe to my channel. And this will be my little side hustle while I'm traveling and retired. <laughs> all right, guys. I love you all so much. And please, please, please stay healthy, stay happy, and enjoy life and have fun. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.